All right, welcome back to Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Um, we kind of did things a little bit backwards this time. We went to Garmin Mine area first to get our watering can upgraded because that was my priority for the day. So then we ended up doubling back over to Harmonica Town and giving gifts there. Uh, but we haven't watered our fields yet because we wanted to get the new uh, watering can. But we're going to put our animals inside because we don't want to water them. No, I said inside, not outside. Thank you. So let's test our new watering can. Let's see how much it actually waters. It was very expensive, 24,000 Gs. And three gold bars. So I'm guessing it's going to be five by three. Let's find it. Okay, it's not. It's three by four. Well... Okay. Not ideal, per se. We'll make it work, though. Somehow. We'll still make watering quicker, but it's not exactly what I was hoping for. I guess it still saves us a little bit of time. No! I messed that up. I didn't hold it long enough. I'm too used to the silver watering can. So I'm trying to figure out the I most ideal way to water this efficiently. So it's 15 squares. Yeah, I think, I think I've got it. We do two rows and then do the rest as the columns. I think that's probably the most efficient way to water now with this new watering can. Make sure we get everything nice and watered here. So that's that. So now let's head over to Flute Fields. We got some much needed fruit there. Anything on the beach coast? Not looking like it. Ooh, a seashell. Perfect. We didn't need more of those. Alright, so we still have to go give a gift to Anissa, and Craig and Ruth, as well as Kane and Hannah. Should we go visit the witch and give her a few blue mushroom if we find one on the way? Maybe, maybe. It's getting pretty late though. Yay, more fruit, perfect. Because we give Candace fruit as well. 
Anissa gets blue herbs. Because she loves those. Good evening. I know, I know, I know, I know, sweet pea. Okay. Mushroom for Craig. Have to make sure we always talk to. I think talking makes a massive difference. I think. Could just be. I don't know. Skewed perception, but I feel like it helps a lot. I might as well grab that herb. We'll sell it. Just have to go give Kane and Hannah a gift, and then we can go into Fugu Forest. Not for very long, though, because it's already 1910. So 720. Um, but we will chop down a couple trees. Hey, Kane. Um, would you like? Uh. A green herb. Looks like Hannah's way older than Kane. I don't know. It just looks that way. You're welcome, Hannah. I'm glad you like it. Alright, let's check how we're coming along with our friendships. I like checking every day. See if we make any progress. Irene's at a heart. I don't know. I think we might have already had her at a heart. I don't remember. Craig is at two hearts. I don't know how long we've had him at two hearts for. Hannah's at a heart. I think that's new. So not too much progress, but... It is what it is. Alright, let's head into Fugu Forest for a little bit. And the reason we're not riding animals is because we don't want to bring them back out again at night. Because to put them in, we have to bring them out, so... Now, the Fugu Forest is not a place to make money. Um, but it is a place to get... ...materials for... ...upgrades. We can potentially find Fugu mushrooms in here, which uh, apparently the witch, the wizard, and Taylor love. But the thing is, is to go see the witch. The wizard's not too bad, but the witch is kind of out of the way. I know I said I was going to chop some trees, but... Um, I'm now more concerned about finding Fugu mushrooms. And I guess now for mining, what we'll do is we'll go to the upper mine, because I like the diamonds, the white wonderfuls. I think I feel like those would be the most profitable. I don't even see a Fugu Mushroom. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Aha! See, all you have to do is complain. You complain and you get. It. 
Maybe we'll go and give it to the witch if we can get to her before she decides that she's sleepy or something. I mean, I wouldn't open my door past 10 o'clock. I probably wouldn't open it past 8 o'clock, really. Oh, I guess we have to chop this one. I'm not sure if there's any benefit to charging up the axe. Nah, we need our hammer now. Yeah, we're breaking these in one hit now, so I don't think you have to charge it up. I think maybe if you charge it up, it'll hit two squares? Well, that does, but it doesn't make sense for the hammer, or I mean the axe. Um... Hope we're not too late. Can we still come in? Hello? 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 You like talking? Alright, I like talking too. Have a mushroom. Alright. Now that we're done talking, let's go pet the turtle, and the raccoon, and the weasel, if they're still out here. It's almost as if there's only like one fugu mushroom a day. I mean... I've never seen more than one, I don't think. But I mean, that could just be coincidence. But I think I've always seen one every time we've come through. But it's always been just one. Alright, let's get some wood. That's what we said we were gonna do. No, it does make it. I think it makes a difference. Let's double check. Um. One. That was 24 hits for that. So let's see if we charge up if it's half of that. Oops. We have five hits plus one regular hit. Six. see one more hit and then charging up does make a difference yeah so charging up does make a difference um, but I guess for the hammer it doesn't the axe it does the hammer it doesn't We need, I think, a hundred lumber for the house upgrade, which we'll have to get that if we want to get married. Alright, let's 
go home. Because we have no energy left. Because Axon apparently is a lot of energy. How much wood did we even end up getting? Probably not very much. Uh, we have 25. We have a lot of material stone, but uh, not a lot of wood. But we don't have any money, so it's not really a concern right now anyway. I wonder how our tools are coming along. Let's check that out too. So we have the hammer and the watering can both at level 3. done for the day. We'll just see if we have anything we want to ship. And then we'll go sleepy sleepy. Our animals are already inside, so it's all good. I think our chicken should be hatching soon, too. We have quite a few things we shipped. I mean, a lot of assorted stuff, but um, hopefully that'll still make us a good chunk of monies. I hopes. Sleepy, sleepy. Hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. Actually made a good chunk from our animals, but I think that was because of all the mayonnaise. And 32 from mining? Not bad. Let's see how much we've sold so far from mining. So we just need to ship another 3,000 to get our watering can fully upgraded, and we have the rare ore, we just don't have the money for it. Because I'm assuming it's going to probably be like 48,000. Ooh, we have a shining egg for Kane! Um, we're actually... I'm not even gonna bother making mayonnaise. I know we bought the mayonnaise maker, but... Kinda regretted it at this point, because it's just not convenient. Um... Love us. Are you done eating? There you go. Because time apparently freezes even inside when time is already frozen. When you are in an animation. Just the barn here. Take care of our livestock. Bessie's already eaten because we messed up yesterday. But she's already at max hearts. I think we got her to max hearts yesterday because we got a power berry. So we actually don't really need to brush or pet her anymore. But we still will. Well, we don't, we're not going to brush her. We'll just... Um, no, we're just going to be feeding her and milking her. We're not going to bother with the brushing and petting anymore. She is done. But we will still take care of Wooly and Desi.
Give me some shining milk. Some shining milk. Yeah. I think someone else likes shining milk too. I can't remember exactly who it is, but there's definitely somebody else. So we'll hang on to the shining milk as a gift. That's that. Because we need to get... we Our goal right now, our main goal, is to get the 10 people with 3 hearts. Um, and then our side goal is to, like, get married and slowly upgrade our farm. Quite a few honeydews ready today. We'll probably have to buy a couple more seeds. Shining. Alrighty. I think we've picked them all. Any corn? Nope. So, how many did we pick? We picked... Um... 5 and 6 is 11, plus 11 is 22, 24. So we need 24 seeds. Okay, 24 seeds. We can go and get those. I think we might have an, have that many in storage, if not more. Let's double check. We also have to put away the copper bar, which is the last one we needed to upgrade all of our tools uh, to copper. We need a blue herb for Anissa, so let's take one of those, and we just need 24 of these. Saves us the trip of having to come back in and put it in storage, so we'll bring that out like that. Okay. Let's get all of these seated. Definitely in subsequent seasons, only stuff that regrows. I don't like the tediousness of uh, replanting all the seeds. If there was a fast way of doing it, I wouldn't mind, but it's a little bit slow. We don't have a lot of stamina. Did we go to bed that late? Hmm. We might have to take a dip in the hot spring then. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta water everything. Let's see if we can, if we uh, figured out the ideal way of doing this. I think we did. Um, so we go like that. So we do two rows of the four by three. And then I'm assuming that the rare or upgrade is going to be 5x3. Okay. 
And I think these last ones are just 3x3? Three three. Yep. But I believe this is the most efficient way to water. I think. And then we do the columns here. Uh, we got that mapped out properly then. Uh, it'll change probably when we get the rare ore upgrade eventually. Just need to ship another 3,000 worth of mining stuff, so... Alright, let's go take a dip in the hot spring. Because we are pretty low on energy right now. Uh, we gotta put our animals outside, and then we gotta go on our gift-giving expedition, as usual. Um, so, I think we'll stop here, and um, we'll start that next time. So, as always, thanks for watching.